But I do have a bear bang, a bear spray, and a bear banger. So if you see one, just let me know. Also, do you guys know the best defense against bears? Standing very still, I think, isn't it? Pardon? Standing extremely still, isn't it? You face, you face towards them and you move away from them. Okay, how about before we even see Oh, you make a lot of noise. Exactly, we're making a lot of noise. So we're going to try to talk loud. I don't find that much of a problem. I'm a loud person. Um, yeah, just, you know, we'll be noisy. A group this big, we shouldn't have a problem at all. Do we have like a, a, like a gun or something like that? Like a... No. Uh, that's a bear banger, and yes, I have one of those, and that scares them away. It sounds like a gun. I've never had to use it on this trail. These are really popular trails. There's like another car here. There are people hiking here all the time. Uh, you have black bear and grizzly bears. We have both. Yes. Oh, great. Grizzly bears. Our other site is actually the one to worry about grizzly bears. This one, no grizzly bears. Might be a black bear, but... This is our tour guide up front, and uh, we're taking a slightly unexpected uh, tour to find uh, a flatbed of dinosaur tracks. But in order to get there, we have to get through this forest. Which means I have to watch my feet while I'm filming this. So you guys Japanese? Yes. I kind of thought so. How long have you guys been in town for? Just uh, last night. Just last night? Yeah, we've been here for about, about roughly two days. Oh. Actually, we're heading out today to head go to a go to another town for a memorial service. Where are you now? Uh, Surrey. Yeah. Oh, okay. We are from Kamloops. Kamloops, really? <laughs> All right. Sorry, just by Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've been meaning to uh, visit Japan. Uh, trying to save up some money to go to Japan myself. Oh wow, look at this view, huh? <laughs> wow, we gotta be real careful going down here. Yeah, be a little bit careful, you don't want to hold that. It's real oh, steep. Yeah. Once you go down that, you ain't going back up again. What form this ridge, you know? Watch your feet. Hey, Dad, did you see my uh, grouse grind video? No, I haven't. Do you know how exactly it kills the tree? No. So, um, we can see this yellow sap. I don't know if you guys want to come around and see the, the sort of yellow scarring sap there. That's sort of the first sign because the sap's coming out of the tree instead of going up to feed it. Oh. So what the pine beetle does is it bores a bunch of holes, you're right, um, and that interferes with the plant's food coming up from the roots to the rest of the tree. So, so it essentially kills it by it starves it. cutting off its food yeah. If I ever lose my sense of pride And turn my back on all I've known And if I ever feel I fall in behind Oh, show me just how far I've grown Cause in a couple
cautious state of mind I can only walk alone Ever searching just to find my way home My way home Tell me I've fallen Tell me I've known If I ever lose my place in time Well, I can't say I never will For I may never This is the Peace Country. It's uh, where my mom grew up uh, many years ago. Occasionally I like to come out here every couple of years just to visit the family. Actually, the houses down there, one of the houses down there is where the family lives. Over there is the road that you used to get into Puscape. Uh, nearby is the town of Nelson, which is a big city in comparison to this one. This one's a small town that has maybe 100 people in it. As a matter of fact, distance over there, a bit of a distance over there, is uh, Grandma's house. We used to come down to visit Grandma and Granddad. But it's been a while since we've done that, since they passed away. Both of them, well, well Grandma passed away about 10 years ago, Granddad probably five, so. Both Dad and I are in our good clothes today. So when did you come to Puscape? First time? Uh, 1970, I think it was. Why were you in Puscape? Well, I came up to meet uh, Mom's family, Maureen's family. And I hitchhiked by aircraft all the way across Canada. And then I hitchhiked from Edmonton up here in, in uh, early spring, like it was February, March time frame. How do you hitchhike on an air, airplane? Well, I went to the Air Force Base and I. Uh -huh. I I talked to the pilots and asked if any of them were going to the west coast and I got, uh, I made it out in about three flights, I guess. Oh, General's see. private plane and then a great big jumbo aircraft with a bunch of paratrooper guys. Do you paratroop out? Uh, yeah, essentially. And then I, I got, and then I got to Edmonton and I hitchhiked all the way from Edmonton up here on the highway. Uh -huh. Oh, it was quite a trip. How long has the peace country been around, or this town been around for? Pardon? How long is uh, Puscape? Yeah. Well, Pus, I think, has been here about uh, 100 years, I would think. I really honestly don't know. But uh, the family, members of the family, were amongst the first settlers in this valley, actually. Uh -huh. And there's the hotel your gra great grandmother owned. Yeah, it's right back there. It's kind of, oh, you could probably there. Do <laughs> you want to go back? Yeah, why not? And your grandfather was the mayor of Poos. Yeah, there's the hotel that your grand great grandmother owned that. Hotel. No great grandmother. Yeah. So how many years ago was that? Oh, 50 years ago probably. And this is where your mom and I had our wedding reception. There were about 140 people out. This is the Royal Canadian place here? This is the Royal Canadian Legion, yeah. Well, that's where your wedding was? That's where we had the reception. The reception, okay. The church, I guess it was the church where you had the wedding, no? Yeah, the church over here is where the wedding was. But your mom was so happy with me. Pretty little church. Mm -hmm. 
This is post office over here, isn't it? Yeah. What about that, that place that was the care home, wasn't it? That just was by? Yeah, that's the care home. That's right. I'll take you by the house where, the old house, where yeah. your mom grew up. There's your mom and dad, uh, granny and granddad Bones old house. It's right here, yeah. And it's been a couple years since we were... A long time, mm -hmm. long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of memories from that. Wait, day. granny and granddad Bones? Yeah. Oh my god, it's changed. Yeah, they put siding on it and everything. This is downtown. Yep. This is a, the hub where uh, all the people going to uh, are. Uh, and this this right here was the store Alberta. That, that your grandfather and then Uncle Everett owned. The the Hillcrest. Hillcrest. Yeah, yeah. Hillcrest Grocery. That's right. It's gone. Yeah, pretty well. Oh, that sucks. gonna head out on to the ranch this place is called the black cat ranch and they're just gonna stay here for a, a day or more but this is one of the first things we had our minds set out to do this morning to hit the ranch and do some horseback riding <laughs> Je suis